bit disruption on the side lanes. Gambit have put a lot of uh, emphasis on the sort of double AP composition. And if Rise can get going, he can be the front line to survive a lot of the burst. But because of the lane swap, it could also mean that we're going to see this slightly accelerated jungle invade game. Impaler and Kasing have made a move once or twice, and Kasing has found some trouble. Death Sentence lands, goes in for it, comes around the side. Quick safeguard, though. Good slide through. Impaler, flag and drag on towards Eddie. Eddie taking some damage and backing off. Now the mid laners are going at it. Selfie and Nick caught out. Ed was going to come around the side, still holding that dark binding stun. Not going to be used. The charm does go down on Ed. Nick there. He, Ignite was used. He's very low, but he just turned around and blows Kasing away. And that's our first blood for Gambit. Managing to secure the kill, Mr. Mr. Rales is now down here. He's alongside Kissing, and they are putting pressure on this tower. I'd be impressed if Genji can wipe this wave out. That's a gigantic wave going in there, but they're not putting pressure on him. They're not putting pressure on the tower. Instead, Genji's happy to free farm and last hit. You can see he's just going to clear out that. He'll be quite happy to take that. The votes, well, it's gone a little well, bit towards tower Gambit. They're going to tower dive the top lane. That's a dangerous target to tower dive. Might be taking way too much damage. The tower hit's not quite enough. Selfie comes in to finish the job. Now Diamond on him. Can he get the other side of him? He's got his kick available, but it does doesn't look like he's going to land it, but look at Nick, he's coming in. He's got that big long range ultimate, he's going to pop it, he's going to go for Mima. Oh, he's not going to miss the second shot, the third will not land either. It's very... That's a lot of squishy members on the Gambit squad. I should point out, you know, with all the roaming that these supports have been doing, Eddie, because they've had that global gold advantage, he's got a 500 gold lead over Kasing right now. That's pretty big for supports this it, early on. It really is at this stage in the game. We'll talk more on that in a second. Impaler's got Cataclysm and he slaps Oh, he just goes straight in on Kubon. Kubon could be going down again here. Second death for him. Mima's going to jump all over him. He's not going to escape this one. Will be one more shot from Mima. Flashed for it. Well, he needs to secure that kill. And he got no flash. He got, he got He's going to start accelerating in terms of items. And he is one of the playmaking champions for the Super Hot crew, often setting up kills. So, Selfie making his way down the river here. Diamond has snuck in, but they're not aware of their mid laner coming towards him. Genji's going to get focused. Diamond comes around the side. Kassing's caught out. He's going down very low here. And this is Selfie coming in way too late, but it's going to be nicely grouped up. He should get enough damage down. Genji's in trouble. Mimo teleports in towards it. Eddie going down as well. He gets caught out. Diamond gets taken down. And Selfie just runs through the entire team. Gets it a double kill. It's now 5 2 for Super. Good engages. It means Gambit are going to have a tough time standing in a straight up fight. So, with Dragon up in 10 seconds, Gambit will be looking to poke. And if Impaler and Super Haku can find a strong engage, that might be where they're going to go. Mr. Rolls is split from the team. So, let's see how the crew react to this one. You never like your AD carry being on the opposite side of the enemy team. Yeah, and that's why he's, he's going to shuffle around. Selfie taking low, half a hit points down. He's managed to chug himself back up with, of course, that. Uh, Health pots. Diamond gonna get caught out. They did secure the dragon, but they managed to lose a kill. Impaler not quite able to lock up and one kill considerably. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think if Super Crew can play the team fights correctly, that Mr. Riles, as well as, you know, maybe Impaler, try to deal with Cubon and Diamond, and then let Selfie try to look for Nick. Let Selfie try to blow Nick up. It should allow that sort of strong front line and allow you to get rid of the very long range that Zereth has on the map. But for the time being, our crew are just playing fairly, fairly safe. Oh, Impaler's now in trouble. Oh, my Impaler was playing oh, possum no. there. That's exactly what he was doing. He was just like, no, come at me. Come on, hit me, please, please. Because just waiting off the side, Kasing and Selfie come in. Caught by a dark binding, and then have Nick unload everything from Zerath. They could lose a member, but look at this little dance. Super crew have started off, but they're not fully committing. This is respect for Gambit's team comp and the potential damage that can come out. We can see whether Eddie can go in there without flashing. Teleport. Flash Soul Shackle. He does manage to catch him. They're going to instead turn it on to Nick. Dead Sensors lands this time around, and Nick is just melted on that plane straight away. And they're going to turn their attention. They can go straight for the tower here. They've got minions. Yeah, they've got a few minions to play with. Gambit are out of Genja. Genja's not gone uh, sustained yet either. So Cogmore's just going to rely on that long range of Bio Arcane and look to destroy Cubon or Diamond if they try to jump in on it. But. We're not going to see that because Gambit have to play super defensive. They've been playing super defensive for the last 27 minutes. Genja not able to get close to Selfie this time around. You can see, not really doing a great deal anymore with that ace in the hole bursting on towards Selfie. They get pushing it through. Diamond caught out. Death Sentence comes in. Diamond again. Have to safeguard away. Flashes out. Not enough. Impaler locks him down. Was kicked out the side there. Selfie, meanwhile, is continuing to take the tower. Mima going to open fight with Jarvan, with uh, Shivana, with Ari very, very quickly. And on the same token, if Gambit don't challenge, 
It's Shubaku. Grab the kissing might be trouble. And dump everything on him, but he gets away. No! Right now, okay, not gonna do enough. Look at this, he's just happy to shield his way through that one now. Gambit, they've burnt a lot for that. Three ultimates. The question is, what will happen? What will Super Hot Crew do about it? They're moving in, five members. You can see Mima making his way up there. It's going to be the top turret. They're going to have to sacrifice this one. Oh, they're taking a look. Diamond's going to jump on. Oh, he's going to get taken down here. Selfie comes in, plants on towards him, and Impaler slam dunks for the finish. Manages to controlling Gambit's jungle, and we touched on Diamond in the pregame. He had no presence on Kha'Zix yesterday. He had little presence on Ramus last week and no presence on Rengar. And he's currently 0-5-1. On what is, what was oh. Diamond Prox's oh. signature champion? Selfie waiting off of the side there. Eddie the fancies this one. Not too sure. Oh, the stock didn't quite land. Eddie's dead. He's not going to be able to get away here. Mr. Riles comes in to finish. Mr. Riles taking very low on side. Genja putting some damage down, but Selfie goes in and bursts down Kubon. Now Genja's found himself a very nasty dragon biting. With ease, honestly, they just land a skill shot, get themselves a kill, land a skill shot, get themselves a tower. Very confident play from the Super Arc crew. They've now got super minions in the middle lane, and truthfully, every time Super Arc crew have set their eyes on a target, Gambit had no answer. Gambit are unable to prevent them getting it, and there goes Mima. Oh, there goes Kubon, that's for sure. Mima pounces in, he's getting all the damage back on towards Nick there. Eddie pots the Soul Shackles, but it's going to be the last thing he does, I believe. Selfie is going to work through. There's the charm, lands perfectly on Diamond. Selfie gets himself a double. There is one kill in there for Genja and Edward, so they do manage to take down two members of the support crew. That will prolong the game for now. And when he's given Yasuo, he takes down teams like Alliance. Now he's given Ari in two games, and this performance is even better than yesterday. Arguably, Gambit are struggling more than Rocket are, of course. But you can't deny the fact Selfie's hitting more skill shots, and he's more of a presence around these objective battles. Let's see if Gambit can pull off the death push. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, no, everything missed. <laughs> Selfie goes in and just bursts down the damage there. Diamond's going to be the focus. Charm lands in there. That's going to be enough. Selfie gets himself in there, but it's Impaler that stole the kill. Mima pounces onto the four members of Super Gambit. <laughs> and that is Nick going down. Impaler, he's on a mission right now in this oh. game. Oh, the Charm lands. That's getting down. Selfie gets himself another. That's good. It is a godlike performance from Selfie. And he is now 7 0 7. That is indeed game. And Gambit's woes continue. They're now on 11 game losing streak with the Super Hot Crew. They are now solid. They have 14 wins and they hold third place. Very, very strong performance from the Super Hot Crew. Even better than yesterday.